Hi guys, and welcome back to Vior Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of the metaverse and everything about virtual reality. Today, I'm very excited as we're going to be talking about AR contact lenses poof, poof, that enable you to dive into the metaverse. Very excited by that. But before, just a reminder, we are doing a huge, massive giveaway in commemoration of the 10,000 subscribers, including a brand new HP Reverb G2. As one of you lucky guys will be able to win this, a brand new pair of cyber shoes also which enables you to run jump and walk inside of VR from the comfort of your own seat and a third winner will get a USD voucher for that you can redeem for your Oculus MetaQuest store or your Viveport or Steam VR store will be completely up to you guys make sure to enable the bell after you subscribe as we will detail how to enter that awesome Awesome competition on December 29 after announcing the two winners as we have another competition running at the moment on December 28th. Link in the description and pin comments below as you can go two lucky winners will be able to go on the vrcover.com's website, pick any item that they want up to US dollars 29 or euros 29. Completely free. Oof. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's dive into the current topic of today, which is the Mojo AR contact lenses. This is frigging awesome. Our good buddy, Tony from the scaredgoals.com. I will also put a link below to this blog has posted about the Mojo Vision AR contact lenses demos hands on. That means that he actually had a demo of this thing during all AWE 2021, which wasn't too long ago. He posted this on December 22 and I've been wanting to do the story for a while. But as you know, plenty of other videos have come up first. Um, so yeah. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, very welcome to you and a huge welcome back to all our regular viewers and awesome. So Subscribers, I have finally said I have finally been able, as he says, to meet in person the people from Mojo Vision, the amazing startup. Let me just make it bigger so you can see that is working on AR contact lenses. This is absolutely, absolutely amazing. So here you go. And he has had a go. It says, um, okay, sorry, I can't see because my light is in the way. Um, and I have interviewed some months ago. So he also did an interview. I'm very fascinated by the idea of augmented reality lenses. So as uh, not just lenses, also contact lenses. I think that's what he meant to say. So as soon as I saw they had a private demo room, I ran towards his door begging for a demo. They looked at me like a crazy guy addicted to XR, but in the end, they were very kind and gave me the possibility of trying the public demos of the product. Unluckily, I have not been authorized to take pictures, but they gave me the permission to write about my experience. So here you are, my experience with AR contact lenses, or sort of, because actually I could not wear the lenses. Okay, all right, let's, let's just find out a little bit more because this, I mean, look at this picture. It's absolutely amazing. Excuse me for the noise outside, which is also why I'm actually uh, talking a little bit louder. So very sorry about that. I will adjust the sound in post-production. But guys, this, I mean, look, can you imagine this? I personally cannot wear these because I'm astigmatic and my eyeballs are shaped like a pair of rugby balls. I used to be able to wear contact lenses in, until a few years ago. But for those who will be able to wear contact lenses, I mean, this is the next evolution of plug-in AR inside of your brain like the Matrix, guys, isn't it? And by the way, do go and check out our previous video, which we posted yesterday about watching Matrix Resurrections in a virtual reality cinema. That was really Really awesome video, so go and check that out as well. If you don't know Mojo Vision, my suggestion is to read the interview I have um, had with them, this long detailed article on Fast Company. All right, we'll do this a little, uh, a little after, but you can click on it and go here, and then basically it will lead you to the actual interview with them. Uh, let's see if there's any interesting, let me just take this away. Uh, let me see if there's any interesting questions that perhaps, is this, is it? Is its technology real? I started the interview immediately with the harsh question, what has Mojo in hand to prove that it is not a scam? Ooh, Steve answered me that they don't want to overpromise as other companies have done in the past. <coughs> cough, cough, Magic Leap. Uh, but of course, well, of course, Magic Leap has had a whole heap of different problems, but uh, you know, then things got, went through. So, you know, let's not go there. Uh, but of course they have talked about what they are doing to generate awareness and attract investors. Of course, this takes hundreds of thousands, if not millions of US dollars, guys. I don't even think Meta are probably working on this. I think Apple are probably working on this. An AR contact lens installed on a stick. The user can take the stick in or in 
slash her hand and put the lens close to one of his eyes to see the content of the micro display. Wow, that's amazing. The display is currently only monochrome green, has 70,000 pixels. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of pixels, um, but it can be better. Of course, it's going to be much better as time progresses. Uh, but let's go more towards today's in, uh, today's uh, details and specs of this thing because, of course, it will be much more uh, you know much more up to par. You just get rid of this thing. Uh, my light is right in front of the camera, but never mind. Uh, who cares about that, right? A micro display to let the user see augment. Stations, all right. An image sensor for seeing the surroundings and process them through computer vision. Wow. It's called edge detection. Eye tracking sensors, accelerometer, gyroscope, magnometer. Wow. Okay. Or oh, magnetometer. Okay. A battery system. Yeah, of course. How do you power this thing? How do you power this thing? <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, the battery, what is Wi-Fi? It's inside, it's micro. Wow, that must be amazing. A five gigahertz radio communication antenna to make the lens communicate with an external unit. What? That is frigging amazing. An Armo processor that acts as a traffic cop for the data. Wow, I mean, that is just... Guys, I mean, that is just crazy. Let, let, let me just show the video here as to how they actually make it. I mean, look at this, you can see the little, is that a laser or something? Are they cutting the lens as to how it's being made? I mean, this looks, let me see if I can get a better resolution. HD, okay, it's processing the HD. Bear with me, okay, there we go. Much better resolution now. I mean, look at this. Is this how they actually make it? Wow, I mean, this looks really, Really amazing as to how they're doing this thing. I mean, guys, this is, by the way, uh, the last time that I read the article, which is about a year plus ago, we did do a feature about this on the channel before. So do go and check out uh, the video about that as well. I will put a link below as well if you're curious or want to know more. But apparently this kind of stuff is supposed to come out in 2030. So guys, just imagine our lives in 2030. Robots are coming out. Artificial intelligence is coming out. Blockchain will be pretty much everywhere by 2030 because, of course, the blockchain is not just about cryptocurrencies. A lot of crypto tokens, tokens sorry, are about how to use the tokens in order to power certain things. The Internet of Things, for example. So your mach washing machine will be able to talk to the kettle, able to talk to the fridge, able to talk to your bar bathtub and all together do things that you just put inside the program and then boom everything will be done automatically uh, and then we're going to have of course AR like this with contact lenses I mean guys self-driving cars I mean what I mean our lives are going to be so much more digital really amazing kind of stuff so this is just another part of what's coming I mean it is just amazing this may seem a futuristic idea but actually Mojo already has internal prototypes of its technology and a few of its executives have already warned them wow the company aims at releasing the first product within the next several years so we do think it will be by 2030 of course it could be before um, there are many safety concerns of, of course uh, uh, in wearing an electronic electronic device in a sensitive area like the eyes so inside a Mojo Vision there are not only people that work on the technology side of the lenses like all in all hardware companies um, but also people that come from a medical background okay interesting so optometrics medical device professionals etc that work is guaranteeing that the lens are comfortable and safe for the users guys please leave a comment below would you I mean come on honestly would you would you wear this kind of stuff would you wear this? I mean, would you take your glasses off of augmented reality to actually wear, full, full, put the lenses in your eyes? What do you think? Leave a comment below. I'd love to have your thoughts about this because it is pretty insane, right? I mean, it's just super insane. Insane! Mojo Vision demo hands on. Of course, Mojo Vision can't have people wear these prototype lenses, so I have had an opportunity of feeling like in the future, but I had three small demos that made me super excited all of the same. The first demo was seen a prototype of the lenses. An executive from Mojo put on my hand a tiny plastic lens uh, saying that this is how Mojo lenses are made. Okay. He says, I had on my hand, this tiny lens, and inside its shell, I could see a lot of mini circuits. It sounds impossible that you can have a full computing unit in such a small device, but it is exactly what Mojo has designed. It was there on my hand, so it was real. I could see all its tiny electrical components installed inside it. 
Wow, and look at this picture. Mojo Lens, past, present, future. Guys, this is amazing. So they started off in 2017 with a first prototype and feature complete. We're looking, I think, as I mentioned, around the 2030s. It could be before, but you know, that's what the previous articles have all said. High-res micro OLED display, fast wireless data, computer division, uh, computer vision, battery power, eye tracking, and later on, prescription cosmetics. Wow, crazy. Absolutely crazy. The second demo has been with the famous stick that all people have been able to try until now. Uh, they have given me something that looked like a reverse popsicle, okay? And basically this is what it looks like. So they put the lens on a little stick. I wonder how flexible they are, like how bendy they are, how, because you know, contact lenses generally speaking are like water. They, they can break so easily. So I'm very curious to know as to how it actually fits on the actual eye. Mojo Vision employee looked at me, said, this is on display. I was like, no way. What is a tiny dot? It is not even a millimeter wide. It is just a status LED. It can't be a display in any possible way. Um, they, they, they so invited me to put the tiny green dot close to my eye. And at that moment, the magic happened. When the green dot was very close to my eyes, I could see image inside it. Images inside it, writings, tables, even small parts of videos. I remember seeing a frame with Baby Yoda from the Mandalorian. It was a display, really, in a tiny dot. My mind got totally blown away, says Tony. So this is really awesome. Wow, look at this. This is the image uh, that he saw inside. So wow, that's... Um this is the start of the future, guys. This is the beginning of the future Mojo Vision 14K PPI display, it says on the bottom right-hand side of the image with, ha oh man, absolutely amazing. The third demo was about the UX of Mojo Vision lenses. I have been instructed to wear a Vive Pro Eye uh, that had pass-through activated. I could see my surroundings additionally to them. I could spot some green lines sometimes. Mojo employees told me to look in the periphery of my vision at the very far left, right, etc. And there I could actually see some green icons all connected by a line forming a circle. Wow, awesome. Looking at one of those icons for a while, I could see a pop-up rearing inside the external circle showing something related to that icon. For instance, if the icon was about music, the pop-up was about the play, the music playing at that moment. Inside these pop-ups, there were other interactive elements, usually tiny arrows, which I could stare at for a while to trigger some action. Wow, look at these guys. Look at these. And guys, the noise is getting really, really incredibly loud next to me. So I am going to say goodbye to this video, but I hope that you guys learned something. If you want to read more about this, I mean, look at this. A ladybug, minus 10 mm. The Mojo display is tiny, it's super small. Mamma mia, crazy. Oh man, nanotechnology is going to be another thing that is going to be really, really crazy. Here's another video to show, I guess, more or less what you will see when you're wearing them. This is the augmented reality, I guess, demo of some kind with the people here and one of them's wearing it. And you can see the uh, details of what's going on, the time, the weather, the distance, the BPM of the heart. Really interesting, guys. Really, really, really interesting. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys. This is just, it's just crazy. It's just absolutely crazy. Guys, I love you guys so much. I've got to give thank you to you before the noise starts again. It just stopped, I think, for a bare minute. So let's welcome some new subscribers to the channel. Um, okay, let me just go here. Let's go to the VR Essentials YouTube channel very quickly. And let's go and welcome some new people. Let me just change to the other channel. There we go. All right, and then let's go to YouTube Studio. Oh, guys, we're at 9,100 subscribers. Absolutely amazing. Guys, I'd like to remind you that we are doing an amazing giveaway uh, with the brand new HP Reverb G2 that is sponsored by HP, so they'll be the ones sending it to you. And also, of course, a brand new pair of Cyber Shoes. I have them here. So they will send this up. They will send this to you because it's sponsored by Cyber Shoes. We'll also be giving away a $50 voucher to Game Keys that you can redeem for your Oculus, Meta, Quest Store, or your Viveport, or your SteamVR Store. Completely up to you. So 
to how you want to spend the money. And of course, this will be announced on December 29. So make sure to enable your bell after you subscribe so you'll be notified of how to enter. As on December 28, link and comments in the pin, to, pin comments below as to how to enter the current VR.com website where two lucky winners will be picked on December 28th and can go to the VR co VRcover.com's website to pick any item there for free cap to 29 euros and 29 US dollars so guys absolutely amazing but let's thank let's welcome some of you guys to the channel because we are almost at 10,000 subscribers guys it's absolutely frigging amazing and uh, let me go to uh, here, where are you? Here we go, recent subscribers. They subscribed, and let me just make it bigger so you can see your names. There we go. I'd like to welcome Jerry Meyer, Grim Haunts, Filiberto Esquilim, Carissa Perry, Neutrino Quark, Alisa H, Guy Tichborn, Joey CPL, Rika Corp, and Tom Rose. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining the VR Essentials community. You guys are super awesome. As we grow in subscribers, we're gonna start, of course, a Discord channel and all these kind of things. As we grow, things are gonna come. So guys, remember to reshare as many of the videos as possible so we can keep growing as fast as possible possible of course but you guys are just freaking awesome if you of course want to support the channel you can go to the vressentials.io's website we have some awesome awesome merch over there that you can purchase for you for yourself or for your loved ones up to you go and check it out it's really awesome but guys until the next video i will see you in the comments below otherwise in another video very soon so guys take it easy Oof. have an awesome day bye guys Ciao.